What's up everyone, Chips here, bringing you a first look video for Fallen Earth. Dun dun dun. Look at my awesome Chips zombie character. Try to make him look as ridiculous as possible. He's got a lot of... I like how you can see your weapons on your guy. So Fallen Earth is a MMORPG. You can actually play this game in first person or third person mode, which is actually really cool. Most games don't let you do that at all. Um, what else? This game is developed by Reloaded Productions and published by K2 Network. Now, Reloaded Productions used to be named Icarus Studios, and this engine that the game they built on is called Icarus Platform, and before they were called Icarus Studios, they're actually called Fallen Earth. So that's right, they actually named the game after themselves because they had so much pride that they thought this game would be like a smash hit or something. But uh, it wasn't a smash hit, so they changed the name a few more times, and yeah. But this game isn't actually a bad game. It's actually a pretty good game. The gra graphics are great. And I actually have to delete this character. Delete this character. You must type delete. Okay. I actually have to delete this character to actually... I wanted to show you guys the tutorial because it's actually really well done. And it tells you... It not only shows you how to play the game, but there's plenty of action and... Yeah. It actually tells you about the story. And the story in this game, there actually is a story, guys. I'll get to that in just a minute. Let's go ahead and random select some of the character customization options. So I already I already made a male, so let's go let's go ahead and check out the female as well. It looks really weird. Awkward. That's uh it's really emo right there. Whoa, she looks like Storm from uh, X Men kind of. Uh let's stick with her for now. So you can change around your skin color here. You know, there's a lot of different options. There's, there's so much depth with this. You can have a uh what else we got? Hair. Let's make her white hair because Storm has white hair. And the hairstyle, Storm has, like, long hair, I think. That's kind of like it. I guess I guess we'll roll with this one. Don't want to spend too much time on the character customization. But, um, let's... So, like, there's eyeshadow. There's just a lot, guys. There's so many tattoos in this game and piercings that you can add to your character. I don't know why there's so many, like, piercing options. That's kind of strange. Like, I don't know what, what they're fascination with piercings and tattoos are but um apparently this game has it all so we can also scale them make her bigger or smaller and you can also check out the whoa what is this let's uh, let's turn her around there let's keep this g-rated guys so i guess there's body piercings too so what else we got here we got her shirt so i can change around her shirt too so Let's see what the one that has uh, the least amount of clothing on it. That's that's always the right choice, guys. So, <laughs> so I guess this one's good. It matches her hair. Let's just let's just stick with this. I don't really care. Um, also, check out her shoes. Let's make her go barefoot because she's a boss. And let's uh, let's also name her Chips Ahoy, guys. Are we ready to go? I think we are. So let's confirm that and head to the tutorial area. Now I have to applaud the game because this is one of the fewest, the few games that actually make an excuse for why you actually respawn in a game. We'll get to that in just a minute here. So there's a there's an ad every time you start the game. It's really annoying. So it's right here. And if I click on it, it automatically. If I click on it and try to drag it and move it to a different location, it automatically uh, makes me make uh, pops up another window and takes me to that upgrade screen. So they really want you to upgrade. And like I said, you can change between first person and third person mode if you, whoa, if you press F9. So you can press tab to, so I guess I gotta punch this guy out. Press tab to initiate your initiate your combat mode. I'm punching out this technician, look at me. Oh, son. Yeah, there we go. I'm, I'm one to know in my uh, boxing career, my professional boxing career. So I gotta click on this. So like I said, there is a story in this game and it's basically like, this is a post-apocalyptic game, right? So, you know, there had to be some kind of devastation that caused everything to, you know, happen. So it, there was a, a virus called the Shiva virus, which originated in uh, Pakistan and India. One of them, or both of them, I don't know. But I uh, basically just tore the world apart, and yeah, not too many people left. I don't read too much of the story, but I, I really like the post-apocalyptic setting because it's really underused in in games. I mean, more games are starting to use it nowadays. Like, I know Rage is coming out, but like, we had Fallout Vegas that used it. Fallout New Vegas, Fallout, uh, Borderlands did it too. This game is like a cross between them. There's also, whoa, epic lag. What, what the hell is that? So, 
So yeah, as you can hear, there's actually voice acting in this game, and most of it's actually... What the hell just happened? How did I just do that? What is going on, guys? Oh my god. Alright guys, I restarted the video, and I am in the middle of absolutely nowhere. So, I was in the tutorial area just a second ago, and now I'm absolutely just out in the middle of nowhere. I'm in limbo, guys. Like, where the hell do I go from here? I have no weapons. All right, guys, I fast-forwarded a little bit here, and uh, we're still in the tutorial area right now. So right now we got to follow this guy named Harvey Vegas. Right below us. Let's go, uh, let's go follow him. Wait up, dude. Come on. Look at me take that shortcut. That was an awesome uh, moon jump right there. So I did change. I actually had to delete my character and create a new one, as you guys can tell, because it the just was right not working. Needs. Could not get it to work for some reason. So I'm going to... Yeah accept that or whatever the hell I just said so I think he wants me to drive that AV down there yeah so I gotta drive down here oh shit Underdwellers. oh shit uh oh we got some company guys pulled out my sniper rifle taking that guy down gotta reload real quick uh oh come on damn it I don't need my scope on you son ooh Gotta reload again. I'm getting backed up in here in the corner. Good Took job. that guy down, that was pretty easy. So, I'm gonna get on this ATV, guys. Have fun, Have fun. wow, alright. Nice, gotta grab that. Gotta head inside. It's kind of awkward to drive this, though. I gotta, like, use my mouse to, like, aim. <laughs> I'm sneezing again guys, my bad. So the goal is completed and the carrier is lost. Alright, so I uh, fast forward uh, in front of that cutscene. So let's go talk to this computer because it's got a glowing biohazard. So right now we have uh, six, no we have seven different factions we can choose. And as I mentioned before, you don't have classes in this game. But if you choose a faction, you can get a head start in different areas. Such as uh, if you want to build a character that can do more like farming and stuff. You might as well choose, I don't know which one of these does that, but I really want to check, I really want to specialize in the pistol and rifle area, so I'm probably just going to choose Zanesville. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that, so we're going to probably, I think it's going to load up the thing. Yep, we're loading it up right now, guys. So here we go, in Zanesville. So, let's talk to James Wexford. I, I guess he doesn't want to talk to me. Let's go talk to uh, this guy. He's got a green biohazard symbol, so gonna complete that quest here. Welcome to the province. Tell me more. Gonna accept this quest. Battle the gully dogs. So he wants me to press the N key. Whoa. I gotta equip something. Disrupt. They're here. Is that the same thing? I don't know. But we're gonna go ahead and equip it anyways and get out of here. So let's uh, let's go to the outside world, guys. Finally, we're gonna get into the open world area. So as I was saying, this game has really nice graphics and whoa, lagging at that door. And there's another guy. I don't know if that was a human or a. Yeah, these are actually uh, p players. So that's pretty cool. Gonna snipe this guy a couple times. Oh, he's gonna try to run away. Yeah, I gotta take him down. Awesome. So I gotta use my one skill on this guy. There we go. I think I like disabled him or something. So you're you successfully used disrupt on the gully dog. So there's a lot of a uh, lot of thugs right out my right outside my hideout. So I don't really like that. So we gotta kill some more gully dogs. Here. We got four more to kill. So let's go shoot this guy in the head a couple times. Oh man, he's getting pretty close. Shot him in the arm there, so I'm gonna take him down. I gotta forget. I, I can't forget to loot his body. So he's got tainted meat, unicorn whiz beer. That's gotta be some awesome beer. So let's actually just take all of them. I'm sure they'll be useful. So this game does have crafting, like I said. That's why I made the comparison of it to Borderlands. So there are materials to collect and weapons to build. And whoa, that guy just zoomed past my screen. What the hell was he going doing? So uh, there are achievements to achievement unlock dog eat dog world. So I need to kill one more. This guy's just sprinting at me. He wants some. So I'm gonna headshot that guy in the face. 
and complete that quest simultaneously. Awesome. So uh, let's go back to Marcus here. So like I said, I really do like the graphics. I am running this on uh, on lower settings just because of fraps, but this game does look really nice. I'm going to try to heal myself a little bit. These guys are chasing me. These guys are assholes. So the red enemies, the enemies with the, the red letters above their heads, they're hostile enemies, meaning they'll attack you if you get close enough. And then there are the yellow enemies, which are usually safe, but sometimes aren't. And then you got the white letter ones, which are usually, well, they don't do anything. Is that an enemy? No. Alright, gotta shoot that body, make sure it's, uh, make sure it's dead. So we're in the life net facility. Running around. I like how you randomly go into, like, first person sometimes. Like, I, I didn't do anything. It just, if you're, like, too close to the wall or, like, your camera gets messed up, you, you go into first person mode. So let's go talk to Marcus Sloan here, and we're going to get some more quest items. Awesome. Let's go ahead and accept those and get a new mission. So want some scrap uh, scrap copper awesome so that sounds like fun let's uh let's see what we got though first so we got some books to read let's go read some of these add some of these to my skill so I can now mine copper good so now I can finally complete that quest I have one out of four scrap copper gathered somehow not sure how that happened but let's go ahead and move along here so the combat's actually really fluid and I like the open world thing and the uh, the story is also really good. So this is primarily like a single player game. I mean there is PvP. But um I think you'll enjoy this game more if you just play it on your own. I'm trying to oh I'm out of ammo guys, gotta reload. That guy has some people chasing after him, but now they're chasing after me. How what assholes? And I'm trying to I'm gonna shoot these guys. So I'm gonna actually switch to my axe. We're gonna bring out the axe. It's axe time, guys. We're gonna show him who's boss. Oh yeah. We're gonna slap that guy in the face. There we go. So I gotta take them down. Let's uh, loot their body. See what they got for me. We got strap steel, and we got some tainted water. I'll take the scrap of lead. I'll, I'll keep the tainted water. I'll let the flies drink it around his body, but. But yeah, guys, that is gonna do. A, that is gonna do it for the first look video for Fallen Earth. It's a pretty fun game. It's got some pretty interesting mechanics, and this is a, a strong, a story-driven game. I would say it's more. You'll probably have more fun playing the single player or playing by yourself rather. But um, if you're into Borderlands or Fallout, definitely check out this game. It's this is only the beginning. I can see. Uh, there's so much more to do. There's vehicles to collect. And like I said, you can craft so many different things. And uh, I want to shoot... What is that? A chicken? A scrounging prairie chicken. That is a huge... That does not look like a chicken at all. Wow. I don't know what the hell that is. But guys, yeah. That is going to do it for the review. You can check out the full written review in the description box below. And don't forget to keep it locked here at MMOBomb.com for the latest news, reviews, and giveaways. This is Chips. And I'm out of here.